Hey guys, Rolando Rodriguez here with xgains.com where we got workouts that work, eats that satisfy, and everything else you need to reach your lifestyle goals. So today I want to make a video concerning a topic that I think needs to be addressed, I think throughout the entire year, but most people need to look into this especially. Uh, at the start of every new year when we got new hopes and goals that we're trying to achieve. And that's you got to be true to yourself. You got to know who you are. You got to know your flaws. You got to know your strengths. And you got to be able to plan your goals in your life accordingly, right? Around your weaknesses and around your strengths. Because that's the only way that you're going to be able to make progress. We talked about commitment. We talked about stick to But we have to talk about stepping back and understanding who we are. If you're starting a new eating approach, if you're starting a new diet, you have to sit back and say, how committed am I to it? What type of person am I? I know I'm all or nothing. Either I'm on or I'm completely off of a diet. It's like a switch. It's binary. It's a one or a zero. Electricity's flowing through the on switch or it's blocked by the off switch, right? So there's no in between. And I know that about myself, but you have to be able to find out, is there an in-between for you? And at what point is the in-between become all or nothing? Can you have one bite of a chocolate chip cookie, but you can't have a piece of chocolate because then the floodgates are open? But you need to sit down and understand who you are to be able to plan out how you're going to reach your goal. My past achievements have been A through Z, and the reasons why I was able to achieve A through Z was because I believe this happened. And I know that if I allow myself to go watch two or three movies a week, I'm not gonna be working out, or two or three TV shows, I'm not gonna take the time to work out, because I get too involved with that, and that starts sort of changing my priorities. What changes your priorities? What changes your motivation? We talked about commitment and stick to itiveness before, but now we're talking about being true to yourself and actually taking the time to look inside yourself and understand who you are and what motivates you and what doesn't. Because until you understand what makes you tick inside, it's not going to be very easy to start reaching your goals. It's going to just be that much harder and you're going to be going through this process. So every time from now on that you establish a goal, I want you to write down what is making you strive and making you feel better to strive towards that goal and what things are you know making you take steps backwards what are the things that are unmotivating you to take strides towards that goal once you have that conversation with yourself then you can start making a game plan you know i started with commitment and stick this this year but maybe i should have started with this because once you understand what type of a person you are you'll understand which type of commitments are most important to you and what actions you can take to stick to those commitments. Sounds pretty simple, but it's something a lot of people overlook. Got to understand who you are, what makes you tick, and we change constantly. But if you just take the time to say, which decisions did I make this morning? Which decisions did I make this afternoon? Which allowed me to take strides towards my goal versus which ones you know, did the reverse? You're gonna be self-aware enough to understand how you're changing, when you're changing, and what you need to do to change for the better. That's it for now. This is Rolando Rodriguez with xgains.com. Please let me know if you got any questions or comments down below. Please like, subscribe, and share to this channel. If you haven't done so already, I greatly appreciate it. The website, again, is x- dash, that's the symbol, not the word, gains.com. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace.